Again, Dave's first priority, top of the list always, was family. But Dave had a very expanded version of family. Julie Huerta said to me, as we, when we were in the course of planning this, boy, the Aryan concept of family, it's really a lot of people. And it was. It, Dave's idea, which we all hope to continue, is that it wasn't about blood. It was about love, but it was also about shared values. Having made clear that the family was Dave's first priority, let me say his two great loves were the LWU and the community of San Pedro. When I moved here 50 years ago, the first time Dave picked me up at the airport and we were coming down the 405, as we were transitioning to the 110, and saw the sign that said San Pedro, he said, remember that sign, because when you see that, it's home. And that's all you need to remember. San Pedro is home. Of course, as a commissioner, he definitely expanded that to be Wilmington. Rise up. And other areas as well, right? So we want to make that clear. Um, Dave, I want to talk about Dave's role on the commission, because other people have said other things. First of all, I would like to thank and acknowledge the support of the commissioners that are here today, our Commission President Jamie Lee and Commissioner Anthony Perosi. Thank you for coming out. The family very much appreciates your support. As a commissioner, Dave was absolutely committed to growing the port. He wanted to see as much cargo as possible come into this port. And he spoke against the people that said we were getting too big. He said, no, we need more and more cargo. But there was always one caveat to that. And we know what it was. Dave always believed in the importance of the slogan that he adopted as his own of the LWU, which was, take us along. Labor just wanted a place at the table. Labor wanted to make sure that they were part of the deal and not just the crumbs. So for Dave, the question of ILW jobs was very, very important. As a, the first time, one of the first things he did as a commissioner many, many years ago, before um, Mr. Soroka's time, in fact, was he called together labor. He wanted all the unions to sit at the table and figure out how to make this port work better. I'm happy to tell you that Gene is continuing that tradition by convening a labor collaborative. It was something Dave would have loved. We thank Gene for continuing that. It's going to be very important. But in addition to that, um, in addition to wanting to recognize labor as a significant stakeholder with a place at the table, Dave, as many said at the bench, was a visionary. 20 years ago, Dave came back from Rotterdam and started talking to Norman and me and people in the union and said, automation is coming. Automation is the face of the future. He knew that was going to happen. This has been a tough year for the community and the port. People came out like they haven't for any issue in 50 years. They came out to express their concerns about automation. If Dave was here, I know what he would have said. We can't fight automation. But all we're saying is take us along. And that's what we're going to continue the fight for. Now that fight is primarily going to be around jobs. And once again, I'm pleased to share with you, for those that didn't hear all of Gene's State of the Port, that one of the things the port is going to focus on is workforce training. And when we say workforce training, we don't just mean upscaling and retrailing longshoremen. They have a contract with the PMA for that. We mean bringing in this community, because those large demonstrations were about the community. I will close by saying, because I did feel the hook, <laughs> I will close by saying that in addition to wanting to, green, uh, to grow the port, another item that was very, very close to Dave was the concept of greening the port, the Clean Air Action Plan. He started it, it's going forward, and the reason he started it 
was the second most important concept to Dave, and that was the social compact. He firmly believed that the port had an obligation to all the communities that bore the burden of port movement and cargo, and he wanted to be sure we got the benefits. Right. We're going to continue that. It's an honor to be sitting in Dave's seat. I'll fight as hard as I can for all the things Dave stood for. Thank you.